Hi, I'm Eric Voss, and Captain Marvel has given us a first look at the one ray of hope teased at the end of Avengers Infinity War, with Brie Larson as Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, coming to theaters in March 2019. The Marvel off-season is officially over, folks! Who are we kidding? Marvel season is year-round, baby! That's the thing about Marvel fanboys. We're always hungry. Let's break down all these images for all the big details that you might have missed. And spoiler warning in case any of these predictions end up being too on the nose. Okay, let's start with these first images shown in Entertainment Weekly. We see Brie Larson on the magazine's cover and a promo image. And we finally see Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel's signature blue, red, and gold suit from the Marvel comics. So just to give some backstory here, Carol Danvers was an Air Force pilot who gained her powers from a Kree warrior known as Marvell. The Kree are an advanced alien race known for militaristic prowess, and they're locked in a war with another alien race called the Skrull, whom we'll get to in a bit. In the older comics, Captain Marvel was a male character, with Carol being known as Miss Marvel, but in recent years, the relaunch of the character passed on the Captain Marvel moniker to her, and that's the direction this movie's going. Notice how Carol's fists are glowing here. Those are among her powers. She can fire energy beams from her hands. She can also fly, and she has super strength and durability, and she can anticipate when attacks are coming. And you may have seen how the promotion for this movie keeps describing her as the most powerful Marvel hero, and it's true. When it comes to pure power, Captain Marvel is actually at the top. So this promise of her fighting back against Thanos is something we should definitely feel good about. Brie Larson and the co-director described Carol Danvers' character as headstrong, reckless, and messy. And quick to jump on things, not always waiting for orders. And it's that stubbornness and insistence on leading the charge that could make her a difficult team player for a group like the Avengers, which already has a captain from a past era who's accustomed to leading the charge and not following orders. Mm -hmm. But let's move on to the next image. We see Carol Danvers in her green Kree military suit, the one that we've seen in other leaked set photos. So one interesting detail revealed in this magazine feature is that while this Captain Marvel movie will be set in the 1990s, it's not a traditional origin movie. They said that when the movie opens, Carol Danvers already has her powers. So like recent Marvel solo films like Spider-Man Homecoming and Black Panther, Captain Marvel won't spend its whole first act following the tropes of that normal human being becoming a super-powered human being. It'll actually just start in the middle of the action. Though I wouldn't be surprised if flashbacks end up being used. So Carol is with the Star Force here. It's an elite military team on the Kree planet Hala. The directors describe it as the SEAL Team 6 of space. Joining Carol in this Star Force is Korath, remember Jaimon Hansu's character from the Guardians of the Galaxy. We also see Gemma Chan. She was in the movie Crazy Rich Asians, and here she's playing Minerva. Now in the comics, she's known as Dr. Minerva, a Kree geneticist. They're walking up to Jude Law's character. He's the leader of the Star Force and a mentor figure to Carol, along with Ronan Lee Pace, remember the Kree villain from the Guardians of the Galaxy. More on him in a bit. Next is this image of Law's character and Carol, and check out their clothes. Along Carol's leg appears to be some kind of alien language. Hard to tell, but it looks kind of like the Kree alphabet, which has shown up in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Guardians of the Galaxy breakout ride at Disneyland. So if any of you out there are Kree translators, let me know what it says in the comments below. Next is a shot of the villains of this movie, the Skrull. They're the alien race that the Kree is warring against, and they're known for their shape-shifting ability. Here they're washing up on this beach, making me wonder if this could be Hawaii, which is now the home to the Inhumans, which do have a Kree origin. We'll see if they show up in this movie. Now, the one on the left is their leader, Talos, played by Ben Mendelsohn, the villain from Ready Player One, Rogue One, and The Dark Knight Rises. We get a better look at the human form that Talos shapeshifts into in the next image, and the article reveals that he has infiltrated the ranks of S.H.I.E.L.D., which, by the way, along with Hydra, that makes two enemy organizations that have secretly taken over a supposedly super secure government entity. Now, in the Marvel comics, these kind of scroll agents are the main threat of the Secret Invasion storyline, in which a number of well-known Marvel heroes are secretly replaced by Skrull shapeshifters. This causes paranoia and doubt to overtake the Avengers. Now, I have a theory for how this could affect the MCU, but first, thanks to our sponsor, Vincero Watches. I think it's safe to say that my time here at New Rockstars has kind of been a gradual evolution to make me a less cringy monster to swipe back to. You know, so that I'm more confident when I'm shouting at you guys about Skrulls! And you would be amazed how much this watch from Vincero just completes your look and elevates your game. Just so classy and well-crafted with nice finishing and attention to detail and it's still super affordable. Plus, you know, it's not that minimalist cookie cutter design that all these other sheep are wearing. Look, with this, you stand out. You get noticed. Even if it's, you know, people reminding you at the movie theater to correct your pronunciation of Marvel from a recent video. Actually, it's Marvel, but hey, nice icy face and that crocodile finished navy blue leather band. 
Vincero apparently just received their 11,000th five-star review on their site. A lot of people are liking their luxurious style, and I'm one of them. Just check out their site for yourself for their variety of designs and colors. There's really a good fit for anyone who wants to look their best. And we are doing a special offer just for you guys. Click on the link below and use the discount code ROCKSTARS for 15% off your entire order. Okay, back to this idea about the Skrull's secret invasion of S.H.I.E.L.D. If literally any S.H.I.E.L.D. agent could be a Skrull shapeshifter in disguise, I predict that this Captain Marvel movie will do something similar that Captain America the Winter Soldier did with Hydra's takeover shield. That's right, retcon trusted characters that we've seen before as secret Skrull imposters. Just imagine the paranoia! Who from the MCU could actually be a Skrull in disguise? I'm looking at you, Secretary Ross. Anyway, let me know what you think about this theory in the comments below. Next, we see Law's character again in Ronin. Now, when we saw him in Guardians of the Galaxy, he was an outcast from the Kree for his extremist views, a rogue agent that the Kree government actually disavowed. But here in this movie, set in the 1990s, he's still a high-ranking member of Kree society, assuming this movie will show his fall from grace. Then there's this image of Carol Danvers just in street clothes. Her look here actually reminds me a lot of Cap's inconspicuous look from Winter Soldier. Here she's wearing a hat with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s logo. And her shirt is for the 90s band Nine Inch Nails, which actually reminds me a lot of Tony's throwback Black Sabbath shirt. Next is a very interesting shot, a digitally de-aged Nick Fury. It's just amazing how Marvel's VFX department was able to give Samuel L. Jackson back his other eye. You'll notice that he does have an interesting scar over that eye, which makes me think that whatever damaged his eye might already be in the process of damaging it. Perhaps he had some implant or maybe poison that's gradually eaten away at it. Remember, Fury actually alluded to the origin of his missing eye back in Winter Soldier. Soldiers trust each other. That's what makes it an army, not a bunch of guys running around shooting guns. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. My guess is that the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent he trusted was Talos, the Skrull in disguise. Now the last two images show Carol Danvers as an Air Force pilot in a fighter cockpit, and she's joined by her friend, whose name you can see on the side of the plane, Maria Rambeau, call sign Photon. Actually, in the comics, there's a character named Monica Rambeau, aka Spectrum. She has also gone under the name Captain Marvel, as well as Photon and Pulsar. She has similar powers to Captain Marvel. She actually led the Avengers for a period of time, and it's looking like Maria might be introduced in the present timeline through her mother, Monica in the 90s. But a question I'll leave you guys with, do you think Captain Marvel will be the biggest game changer in the fight against Thanos in Avengers 4? Or could some other technological breakthrough by characters like Shuri or Tony Stark be the main key to his defeat? Comment down below with your thoughts and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at EAVoss for other cool stuff I'm working on. Like this video, share it around, subscribe to New Rockstars for all the big Marvel updates that you need to know about. Because when Brie Larson tweets promising to break the internet, we are the hungry, hungry hulks who smash it! Rawr!